The garbage disposal problem continues to plague Kathmandu Valley. One of the major agendas raised by the new mayor of Kathmandu Metropolis, Balan Shah, was to get rid of this perennial problem as soon as possible. Although early in his tenure, the new mayor must have understood it by now that solving the waste management problem of the metropolis is not as easy a cakewalk. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the headlines of the hour. Amid widespread grievances, the government not serious enough to address the plight of general public. No fertilizers for farmers, no textbook for students and the list goes on. Even as the government has declared two-day weekend, a massive chunk of fuel found misused at the hands of government employees, including security officers. The head of the African Union, Macky Sall, urges Russian President Vladimir Putin to help ease the suffering of African nations that have been victims of the war in Ukraine. And 13 times French Open champion Rafael Nadal reaches the final after Alexander Zverev retires hurt to clash against Kasper Ruud, who defeated Marin Cilic. The government does not seem serious in addressing the issues of essential service sectors. Grave answers have been regularly heard regarding the delays in supply of fertilizers for farmers, textbooks for students, rising inflation and hours-long queue to receive government services. Public are compelled to bear the brunt as the government also seems indifferent towards the public's plight. General public in Nepal are frustrated with the delay in delivery of several services. Farmers do not receive fertilizers on time. Supply of textbooks for students are delayed. Public are denied clean drinking water supply, while inflation and lack of employment opportunities lead to annual brain drain. Inflation increased by 3.10% in the 11 months of the previous fiscal year. However, inflation has doubled and increased by 7.28% in the ongoing fiscal. Despite such a sorry state, the government has failed in prioritizing domestic production and identifying alternatives for petroleum products. Nepal, ranked the second poorest country in South Asia, has a very low per capita income. Despite populist projects introduced by several governments, most of such plans are often limited to documents. Even the children have been denied their right to education, ensured by the constitution. While the national economy continues to suffer, there is a general call on the government to curb inflation and ease access to public services. The government has started the new practice of two-day weekend in a bid to save fuel. Even as the government is spending around 3 billion rupees annually on fuel facilities to its employees, the fuel continues to be misused by government staffers. The government has a practice of providing motorbikes to expensive four-wheelers, to its staffers along with fuel. The government this year has allocated 6.24 billion rupees for the procurement of vehicles and fuel facility. The massive expenses funded from the revenue collected through tax paid by the general public, internal loans and foreign aid are abused by government staffers. Government vehicles have been abu abused during public holidays and even for personal use of government employees such as attending wedding functions or shopping. Such vehicles are also abused to carry children of government officials to and from schools during working hours. At a time when the national economy is crisis-ridden, most of the funds allocated in the budget are spended in covering administrative expenses. Up to 6.5 million litres of diesel and 3 million litres of petrol are consumed every day in Nepal. The government therefore had introduced the two-day holiday policy to curb the expenses in import of fuel products. However, the government is yet to stop the misuse of government vehicles and fuel allowance to its officials. At a time when the public are bearing the brunt of inflation, economists maintain that government staff abusing the government resources is prime corruption. Prime Minister Sherbada Dewa has said that protecting the environment would be the government's important agenda. Premier Dewa made the statement this morning while inaugurating the 10th edition of Kantipur Half Marathon. The 10th edition, keeping in mind the climate change and climate crisis, is being run under the banner hashtag run for green Nepal, hashtag climate change crisis. Prime Minister Dewa also said that such awareness raising events should be organized at a time when the world is experiencing the effects of climate change. Premier Dewa said Nepal has also been affected by climate change and the rise in temperatures and has faced unseasonal and excessive rainfall, landslides, problems of melting glaciers, among others. 
Now, after the successful hosting of the local level election, the Election Commission has expedited preparations for the provincial and parliamentary elections. The Commission has initiated preparations to hold the elections in two phases in mid-October. Term of the House of Representatives and the provincial assemblies conclude on 8th of December. The Election Commission has expedited preparations for the elections because of the requirement to conclude the polls before the end of the term of two tiers of the government. The Apex Election Authority has also made preparations to inform the government about the coming elections. Prime Minister Sher Badu Dewa is to embark on an international journey for his official visit of the United States of America in coming weeks. The Commission is likely to meet Premier Dewa upon his return from the U.S. to discuss election dates. The Commission is also making preparations to provide some time for registration of voters. It has also said that it will introduce plans for registration of voters who had missed on registration for the local level election. The Commission is under pressure to conclude the elections within mid-October because of weather issues. The authority therefore is currently updating its database of available and required resources. It is also studying about required laws and conducting assessment regarding required number of booths. Now, in our public voice segment today, we've asked in several provinces what might be the reason behind scarcity of fertilizers at the start of harvesting season. Let's take a look at what they had to say. The question is what should be done to stop the misuse of government vehicles. Your options are A, stern punishment, B, self-awareness and C, monitoring from the authority. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Welcome back, it's time now for the sports update. The 10th edition of Kantipur Half Marathon with the slogan Climate Chains kicked off this morning. The road running one day event features men's and women's half marathon, corporate run and wheelchair race. The 21 kilometer half marathon began from the office of Kantipur Publications in Central Business Park at Thapathali and participants went through Mighty Ghar, Bijuli Bazar, New Baneshwar, Tinkune, Koteshwar, Gathagar, Sanotimi, Sallaghari and back the same route to the starting point. The corporate event was of 5 kilometers, while the wheelchair race of 3 kilometers. The top five finishers in both men's and women's category will back the cash prize of 100,000, 50,000, 30,000, 20,000 and 10,000 rupees respectively. Likewise, the winners of the wheelchair race will receive 30,000, 20,000 and 10,000 rupees in prize money. The annual event had been affected due to COVID-19 pandemic as the previous edition was organized in 2019. Anish Thapa Magar and Bishwarupa Buddha had won in the main category last time. The first Kantipur half marathon was held back in 2011.